Impression, yes. Contemplate, yes. Tax, yes. Eliminate, yes. Prospector, yes. Administrator, yes. Holy, yes. Selector, yes. Perfect. Let's move on. Stock market has been moving in and up, in an upward trend in the last few months. Again, making investors happy. The distributor mentioned with its dash figures will me with a coupon sense of money. I'm not sure about this word. Okay. With the new update, you can now customize. Customize your widgets, more personalized fee. In the game of bus, baseball, uh, if the batter does not hit the ball, it is considered a miss. Their band is really good, but they need more publicity to get noticed. So, ever since the release, Ever since the release, the new album has been met with a universe claim. Inside the museum is a model of an ancient city built to uh, as a model of ancient city built to Your kindness reminds me uh, of in it with goodness. Or goodwill. I'm not sure about goodness or goodwill. Okay, that's well. You could see the bees morning around their bench. Bill wasn't with collective purpose and diligence. I'm not sure. Okay, mixed language skills. He was very happy with the recommendation. He was very happy with the recommendation. He was very happy with the recommendation. Very happy with the recommendation. He was very happy with the recommendation. All right. Our environment, upbringing, and life experiences also play a significant role in shaping who we are. Our environment, upbringing, and life experiences also play a significant role in shaping who we are. This book will help you figure out how much you should save for retirement. This book will help you figure out. This book will help you figure out how much you should save for retirement. Okay. This book will help you figure out how much you should save for retirement. Uh, the word data travel is that kind of observes the environment and actual positive relationships with the local community. We can include food activities such as hiking, camping, and uh, wildlife photography. It may involve uh, Strict to 
track. Chiller uh, region such as green forest. Um, track the should be track. From uh, uh, dash to a particular region, such as rainforest, or bones, uh, um, such as I can come in and let it be. Good me. Dash or dash, uh, such as travel track, um, tracks, particular reasons such as. I'm not sure if tracks is a word, but let's see. This is my forest or Libraries are places that store collections of written materials and other media. Libraries are places that store collections of written materials and other media. Collection of libraries are places that store collections of written materials and other media. Medias. Okay. Thermodynamics is the study of energy and its transformation from one form to another. Thermodynamics is the study of energy and its transformation from one form to another. As we grow, changes in the brain affect memory and cognitive ability. As we grow, changes in the brain affect memory and cognitive ability. There, change in the brain, back memory, and cognitive ability. Let's see the last time. As we grow, changes in the brain affect memory and cognitive ability. With renewed purpose, he marveled at the plant that would undoubtedly change the course of botanical history. With renewed purpose, he marveled at the plant that would undoubtedly change the course of botanical history. They conveyed their message. They conveyed their message. They conveyed their message. 
Over time, the two pilots started working together as partners instead of competitors. Over time, the two pilots started working together as partners instead of competitors. We later realized that the window had been open the whole time. We later realize. Maybe later. Not sure. We later realize that the window had been open the whole time. The whole time. It is later. It just sounds like lead. We later realize. Realized. We realized what it's past. We later realize that the window had been open the whole time. Being open. So, see. Three people must know the example of creation. It's prototyping an object based on your world item. After 3D, the digital 3D template is fed to the program. The lasers centering. So, right. um, Hours are. Oops. To create multi layers and an addition and an addition process. Um, we load item after three after the digital three template is fed to the program. The laser centering melts fine. Uh, oops. I felt very sorry that I had put them to so much trouble. I felt very sorry that I had put them to so much trouble. I felt very sorry that I had put them to so much trouble. Modern methods of construction offer benefits such as increased strength and durability. Modern methods of construction offer benefits such as increased strength and durability. Their first day at work was successful. Their first day at work was successful. Their first day at work was successful. These were built by skilled laborers who were paid in goods and supplies. These were built by skilled laborers who were paid in goods and supplies. The end of the hobby is always full of strange things. Out. Medicines, strange.
Sham, Sham, what is Sham? Shampoos? Sure. Um, I don't think anyone has cleaned it, cleaned it out and cleaned it out in years. Anybody knows what's in this? I still that nobody can see. It's like you can you can find out medicines, strange lotions, and old socks and shampoos. Soaps, I believe it should be soaps if these are shampoos. Let me see. AP soaps and shampoos. Lotions and old soaps and shampoos. I don't think anyone has cleaned that out in years. I think that makes more sense. They received praise for their good behavior. They received praise for their good behavior. Good behavior. They received praise for their good behavior. Okay. Supernova. Got it. Explosion. Uh, the explosion is dash big. So big. So big that it can be seen from across the universe. A supernova is a one time event. The star explodes and stops. In the star. In the star. Scientist doesn't know why the star explodes and causes the super, but they attack. But they be they believe it has something to do. But they believe they doubt. They, uh, but they doubt it has something to do with. Believe something to do with a dash becoming a dash dwarf, with a star becoming a. Uh, with star collapses, right? So it becomes star so with a. Uh, planet was white for the star becoming the star or or I would say white both star around the side stops stops being being the star um full dwarf becoming large dwarf. Believe so because they're saying that supernova is an explosion of a star, right? When they say that uh, the star explodes and stop being a star, so it is something to do with the star becoming a dash dwarf. Null dwarf, I'm not sure, large white dwarf, uh, star dwarf, full dwarf. Uh, Not sure about the last one, but let's move on. Okay, that's one white dwarf because it has something to do with the star becoming a white dwarf. When a white dwarf gets small enough, it causes a super. Uh, uh, clear night, a new star can be seen in the sky. The explosion makes the star brighter than it could ever. They're only the explosion makes the star bright. There's only a few times when stars are stored in a matter of seconds. Star is now the size of a small planet. I think it should be this one because it's supposed to look at the ending of the first paragraph and the starting of the new paragraph. So I do you think it has something to do with star becoming a white dwarf? A white dwarf is a, and then you know the explanation of the white dwarf starts. So a white white dwarf is a star that shrinks down to a size of a small planet. When a white dwarf, it's a tongue twister. When a white white dwarf gets small enough, it causes a supernova. I think that's perfect. Where can a supernova be seen? Is across the universe? So scientists. The explosion is so big that uh, it's from across the universe. Can be 
scene. Cross, cross the person. And this scene from the person. What happens when a supernova occurs? A supernova is the one on the when star alone. Stops becoming a star. Got it. Again, astronomers have a lot of data on supernova because they occur every okay. No, uh, scientists don't know what caused supernova, but they think it has some. I think this is the one. Uh, the center of the black hole. No, the bright stars called the stars with the highest magnitudes. No. Uh, so the best title: The Mysteries of Supernova. I believe that should be one of the opulent new star, the motion inside a star, connect the stars. No, so I believe the mystery of supernova because they are they are they're showing their doubtful nature of what causes supernova. So you know there's a mystery of supernova. That's one. Perfect. Let's go to the interactive listening. First way in conversation about the scenario below your you're an urban study student who is nearing the end of their undergraduate studies. You're trying to decide if you should apply for a job or if you should apply for doctoral program. So, okay, this uh, reading this is really important because it kind of gives you the context when you start writing the summary of the conversation. So now you know that it's a urban study student. Uh, he's a, he's going to ask his professor if. Uh, what he should do. Should he apply for a job or should he go for a doctoral program? Uh, all right, let's begin this one. Professor, I have some great news to share. No, he's not going to share the news because he's going to ask, right? Professor, what uh, What do you want to talk about? This is wrong. Professor, I hope you're doing well. Hi, Professor. I'm here about my final paper. Um, uh, professor, I have some uh, great news to share. I hope you're doing well. I guess that's a good start to the conversation. Hi, I'm doing well. Thanks. What can I do for you? Not sure. That's why I wanted to ask. Nope, that's wrong. Uh, I'm looking at some research right now. I have some questions. I'm like, nope. I've been thinking about that too. Nope. I'm finishing up my undergraduate degree in accounting and I'm trying to decide now that there's an accounting in here. So that's pretty sketchy. Um, and I'm trying to decide whether to apply a job or a master's. I want to get your opinion on something. I'm nearing the end of my end. So this is where nothing is mentioned. So this is more relevant answer. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I should apply for a job, should I go for a doctor. This is correctly representing the situation. All right. I want to get your opinion on something. And I'm, okay. That's a tough decision. Have you been looking at jobs in the field that you're interested in? Not really sure. I enjoy my research. No. Yeah, I've been looking, but most of your requests, I believe this is good. Because yes, there are some programs that I'm not sure. Okay, yes, some of them are fine. Doctor, I see. No. So this is the one. Okay. That's true. A doctoral program would give you the opportunity to gain more knowledge and research experience in your field so that you can eventually get a job that you want. Okay. Please say it would take so long. I'm not sure if I'm ready. And it would take long, yeah. But um, then top of the will lead more opportunities. Um, I haven't done that yet. I don't know my studies, yeah. But yeah, okay. It definitely takes a lot of time and commitment, but it can be very rewarding. If you're not sure if an advanced degree is for you, why don't you try working in your field for a few years and then decide whether or not to pursue a doctorate later on? That makes sense. That would be a huge change. That's a good idea. Thank you, Professor. Okay, I think this one sounds good. Okay, the task is complete. We still have one minute, 30 seconds left. Let's just quickly review what did we do in the conversation. So we are talking with our professor about should we go for an undergraduate studies or should we apply for a doctoral program? Oh, sorry. Uh, should we go for a doctoral program or should we apply for a job? To which it replies that uh, uh, are you, have you been looking at the jobs in the field that you're interested in? I said yes. Uh, and so then requires three years of experience to be a and then he suggests that Dr. Boom give me opportunity to give me knowledge and research experience. That should it get me the job. Okay.
Let's move on. We have two writing questions. One right over the photo. Writing. Two up to nine. Two to nine minutes. Perfect. Let's get on. Okay, we will write of the top topic below. Uh, you have five minutes to write, then you okay. Follow up response. Writing is a form of communication that can be used to connect people across time. People across time. physical distance. Do you think that writing will continue to be the major form of communication in the future? Reason to to answer. Um, okay, I think I, I should be able to write this.
Mm -hmm. oh. All right, the use of writing for self expression and creative influence its and creativity influence its full as major form of communication in the future. So, writing. So, All right, let's move on. First question, you'll have 20 seconds to prepare and 90 seconds to respond. Talk about a major achievement in your life. Talk about a major achievement in life. All right. Talk about a major achievement in your life. Today, I would like to talk about one of the things that I achieved in my life, which I think that is one of the major achievements. And this is achieving the master's. I have graduated uh, as a master's of mathematics. Ever since I was a kid, I always had a dream of becoming a mathematician. And I worked really hard right from the time that I was enrolled in the primary education 
And even after completing my primary education, when I got enrolled into the secondary and secondary colleges, I continued my goal and I followed my dream of becoming a mathematician. After completing my higher studies, I was more interested into getting the master's because at the end, that is what is going to give me a certificate, which kind of helped me to become a specialization. This is the reason, this is like the biggest achievement that I ever had in my life, and I'm really proud of that. Okay. Okay. This is an image of a person taken from the ground up. The image is black and white, which means that there is no color present in the image. And the image kind of depicts a person who is standing next to the pole of the light. This person in the image is also holding a cellular device in his hand which also kind of looks like an mp3 player or an ipod there is a headphone connected to that device which makes me feel that the person is trying to listen to some kind of audio it can be any form of music or any podcast the pole next to the person also has few signs on it, which kind of indicates that the person is standing nearby an intersection. These signs can probably be the name of the road or the directions that you need to go in order to reach to that place. I can also see few buildings in the background, which looks like they are a tall skyscrapers. Prepare to speak about the topic below. Talk about how commitments can benefit community. What do you think? Uh, what do you think communities need committed? Oh, why do you think communities need committed members? How do you think commitments help build trust and cooperation? I think that commitments can really benefit a community. Now, the reason why I think that communities need commitment, committed members, is commitment is basically a form of a surety that one gives in order to complete certain tasks. And if there is a community of people that are committed, this kind of helps them to gain more trust from the people around, which kind of helps them to achieve certain tasks. Commitments basically help to build the trust and cooperation in a way by which people can, can work together and in cooperation. These commitments uh, from the people about doing certain tasks kind of helps people to believe in each other. And this is really necessary in order to build that trust. And with this kind of trust going, I guess the, the, the skill of, or I would say the ability of cooperating with each other also increases. Writing and speaking sample, All right, let's move on. Describe something that you wear every day because it is special to you. For example, a ring or a watch. What does it look like? What does it look like? Why is it special? Give a few reasons. Describe something that you wear every day because it is special to you. What does it look like? What does it look like? Is it special? Give reasons. Okay.
Are you more productive when you're doing few things at the same time or you're more productive when you only have a single thing to focus on? What do you think helps you to be more productive? I think I'm more productive when uh, doing the single thing rather than two things at the same time. Or um, So I think that I am more productive when I do multiple things at one time. Now, the reason behind that is when I do a single thing, I kind of stress myself out by working long hours on a single task. Now, the beautiful thing about working on multiple tasks is that your attention is kind of divided into multiple tasks. This kind of helps you to not get bored by working on a single thing and kind of keep, keeps you busy. If you're bored of one thing, you can switch on to another thing. Now, this kind of helps me to also improve my productivity to the next level. Because one thing that I have noticed with myself is that I easily get bored of some things. Now, if I keep myself engrossed in one or the other activity, this uh, this will ultimately help me to not get bored of a single thing. The second benefit of doing multiple tasks at the same time is that I can get multiple things completed within like a dedicated period of time. Now, if I do only a single task in a certain period of time, it will obviously kind of stretch my timeline of completing other tasks and I would be less productive as I would get easily bored. Now, this is what kind of is the 
best part of doing multiple things for example if i'm working on a project uh i can take i can simultaneously work on multiple projects together now this is really beneficial when you work when you are working in a professional settings wherein it is often a requirement that you kind of should be able to juggle between multiple projects rather than completing one task in a given time frame this practice of mine has really helped me to succeed in the professional setting as well because this practice of mine has helped me to easily juggle multiple tasks together and complete them on time rather than waiting for for to work on a single task and then get only that thing completed so i guess this has really helped me like working on multiple tasks has really helped me to increase my productivity okay we um, we don't don't want to do that right now okay that's a very good score so thank you everyone